Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Otherwise, I can't wait to find some people that feel like me. Not him. Just John uh, 12 and 20. 12 and 20. It said, there were certain Greeks among them that came up to the worship at the feast. Next verse. And the, and the same came there to, therefore to Philip, which was a Bethsaida of Galilee, and beside him said, Sir, hey, we want to see just Jesus. We want to see the Nazarene. Next verse. It said, Philip come and tell Andrew, that's his brother, Andrew. And again, Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. Hey, uh, Jesus, you got some smart people. Because that's what Greeks would know. Mm -hmm. Philosophy. Mm -hmm. We got some philosophical people that want to see some manifestation. They're looking for a perfect fit. And Jesus ends up saying, <laughs> I always come. That the Son of Man is going to be glorified. Right? Who's the Son of Man? Jesus. Yeah. That looks pretty funny. He said, Barely, barely. He said, Truly, truly. So when we read, we see, Barely, barely. Which is how he said it. Barely, barely. I'm sure he magnified that point. He said, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a grain or corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abide alone. But if it dies, it shall bring forth much fruit. Right? He telling the philosophers, you, you, you have a limited understanding of who I am. But when I shed this earth suit and break the veil open, I'm gonna re I'm gonna release the very content of my character on a large scale. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna be more to say. Hmm? What long afterwards that he did it in Pentecost? Amen? Am I right? When he gave up the ghost, yeah. committed himself to the Father, mm -hmm. into your hand I commit my spirit. The Father took that seed and sowed it on Pentecost yes. Yes. Amen. and poured it out on the body in the upper room. Yes, Lord. Yes. Then they began to do what he did. Yes. 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 Are y'all alright? Yes. That's what he wants. I tell you there, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. Yeah, go to John. That's real quick. I got come on, I got five minutes too. This is powerful, y'all. Mm. You understand that? About 13 years the Lord opened that scripture up to me. I'm like, dang. Jesus is basically telling the culture of the day. He said, I'm not gonna give you more insight of who I am historically. I'm getting ready to do a spiritual work. I'm getting ready to maximize the seed, maximize the content. My character is about to escalate on a whole other level. In other words, the culture, the Grecians that live today, the philosophical minds, the people who are analytical in some scriptures, the people who are looking for a manifestation, are not going to see him, not going to recognize him, so you can wrestle all you want to, you can try to get him converted, you can stroke your ego, because most of the time it's about our ego, and you can try to get them to see your point of view because they don't understand you. They, they got you as some crazy person. You can try to co coerce them, convince them, but I'm here to tell you they're not going to come to their senses. They're not going to recognize it until that corn, that grain that's in the ground dies and bring forth much fruit. In other words, until Christ is sown in your heart, come alive in your being. That's when the world going to take note and say, truly, that our religion is not as vain as we thought. This is the reason why they can't see. This is the reason why we have to depend on the White House. This is the reason why we have counterfeit systems. And we just do church. We got a bunch of religious bonfires. And all we do, we, we, we go and get beef jerkies and sit around a campfire. We got marshmallows. And we sit there and get all toasty. But we don't have a message. And then we want to go around and say that, uh, that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Passive scriptures. Passive stuff. Another postponement. 
They won't allow you to engage the, the culture. It put everything in our future. It's not the kingdom. There's active involvement. Okay. It'll come with observation. Mm -mm. You can't say low here and there. Mm -mm. They go all of our eschatology. Yeah. He said it's now. Yeah. It's here yes. now. Yes. Amen. It's in you now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Look, let's hurry up. Well, John 14, 1 to 3. Y'all all right? Let's go to John 14, 1 to 3. I, I, I don't even know if we'll be done. I might have to paraphrase this. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, 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 okay, all right, all right, real quick, real quick, real quick, 41, say, let not your heart be troubled, believe in God, believe also in me, okay, next, <clears throat> in my father's house are many mansions, many dwelling places, many opportunities, <laughs> if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you, I go to pre prepare you for the place, uh, uh, and if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself, unto myself, that, that where I am, not where I was, or not where I should be, Therefore, you may be also. Yes. So, which is a present tense word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an awakening word. It's a, it's a reality word. Amen. It's not some theological dissertation in the future. It is the Father's house yes. right yes. now. Yes. Yes. Hebrews 3 picks it up and tells us that Christ is over that house. A Christ is that house. Yes. Yes. Moses built a house that, it, that was not functional. It was, well, should I say, it was a part of the time imposed upon them. But now we have a house. Christ is that house. We're the Father's house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. How many know the Father lives in you? We're the mm -hmm. temple. Right? right? So the Father's house is not some structure in the next life being built up. Yeah. Those that are watching, <coughs> it's not the Father's house. Because you go down to verse 21, 23, it talks about the mansion. Yeah. That's right. Moni. Yeah. And he said, if you keep my commandments, I'll show up in my house. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's right. Wow. That's what he said. Yes. Y'all are going to be real funny. Come on. 21, 23. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know. Come on, man. <laughs> 21, 23. 21, 23. Come on. Come on. You can do it. 21. Come on. There you go. Then with this saying abroad say, among the brethren that, that disciples should not die, yet Jesus said to them, You should not die. What? The? Uh-uh, 14, 23, 21, 23. Yeah, 14, 14, same chapter, just that further down. 14, 21, then 14, 23. 21. He that has my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be of my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him, or I will be a perfect fit. Yes. 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 A perfect fit for him. If you keep my commandments, and as a result of keeping his commandment, there's a love that blossoms. We're trying to love him and keep commandments. The shoe is on the wrong foot. We keep, then out of the keeping, out of the obedience, love rises to the surface. And he says, as that love begins to increase, so will my presence. Why? Because I'm a perfect fit. Y'all all right? Y'all looking at me classy. Yeah. 23 then. Another shot. Another shot. 23. And Jesus said to the man, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come into him and make our abode, make our mansion. Yes. Yes. That's what it means, an abode. Yes. I, I'm, I'm doing another teaching on the, uh, in my father's house, so I'm not going to give all my nuggets out, but <laughs> let's just suffice to say that we are the father's house. Yes. And what that should do for us, guess what? That should happen. Every time we have service, we come over here mean pivot. <laughs> yeah, I'm the father's house. What are you going to say? I know what I'm faced with. I know what I'm hearing. I know my emotion and the rest. I know my trials and my temptations. But that don't change the address of God. Up, hey, but he's in me. Say that. Forever fused together as one spirit. As first Corinthians 6, 17 says that he that enjoyed the Lord is one spirit. Which means I'm a perfect fit. I'm going to show you next week how to get the perfect fit. We're going to watch the three passages in the, in the epistles so we can become a perfect fit. We, we, I'm not a perfect fit because I feel like it. Amen. I'm a perfect fit because he did something yes. that I couldn't do myself. Yeah. 
So I'm not going to downgrade myself. I'm not going to speak condescending about myself. Yeah. Even a prodigal couldn't even say, I just want to be like a servant. Remember when he got away and got full of himself and said, just make me a servant. He would basically say, I can start over. I don't, I'm too unworthy to go and be in the house. In Luke 15, he said, I'd just rather just be the, you know what I'm saying? I just put me on payroll. Yes. I know it's, it's <laughs> I know the inheritance is mine. Amen. I got mine prematurely, but I just want to start. I just want to do something different. Yes. He said, you're out of your mind. Send the servants and go get a fatty calf, a robe and a ring, which is all preaching his own thing. He said, no, you, 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 just because you didn't know who you were, I have Say that. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Just because you act crazy, yeah. don't mean you don't have to take your stuff and put it on hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You still have a right to the sandals. You still have a right to the rope. You still have a right to the ring. All of them have their own legality that goes with it. But the point is that you don't lose your place. Even though prematurely you may ask for certain things that's not really your season. Amen. That's it. Come on. You can get too big and you, know, you start feeling yourself. You say, but I, I'm still telling you I'm still on your side. Yes. Amen. Oh, oh, glory. So, then, then, you know, you look through all that and, you know, you can go to, yeah, can I? Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. Let me finish this because when we get back, I want to do something else. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about Catechism. But look at it in 1 John. We're going to close with a bang. 1 John 2. Let's go there real quick. 1 John 2 and 3. I gave, the scriptures I'm giving is a perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. Right? You don't have to make it fit. I gave you scriptures that he's qualified you. Come on. He said, I forever perfected them through one sacrifice. Forever. Not another sacrifice.